Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Eddie Hood and you are watching the QuickBooks Online Tutorial for 2016. In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up your chart of accounts. Real quick so that you know, your chart of accounts is a list of all of the different kinds of accounts in your business that you'll be using to track all of your transactions. So bank accounts, accounts receivable, uh, your income accounts, also all of the things that you want to track your expenses. Another tip here is you're probably gonna want your accountant to sit down and help you do this one because it can get a little complicated. But if you feel comfortable, go ahead and click in the gear in the top right hand corner, go over to settings and come down to chart of accounts. QuickBooks has already set up a lot of these for you based off of the questions you answered in the setup phase. In this case, we're a retail store that's selling to, well, that's selling beds. Now, we've got our receivables over here and so on, prepaid expenses. The name of the account is the first column. I do like how it gives us the type, whether these are asset accounts, expense accounts, liability accounts, that helps you stay a little more organized. You also have a QuickBooks balance. They should all be zero right now because you've done nothing. To add a new chart of accounts, you'll notice that, for example, we don't have any bank accounts in here yet. If I click uh, type account, I can sort by that because there's a little arrow there. Nothing here says bank account. So let's resort that the way it was. If I click new and uh, just click the button, on the category type, I'm gonna come down to bank. And I'm gonna say this is my checking account. And I'm gonna put in a description here. So Bank of America. And uh, we will then say it has a balance of zero as of today, because we're a brand new company. If you have a real balance, you can put that in but then you'll click save and close. Now you'll notice that I have a checking account in my chart of accounts where I can begin tracking all of my banking transactions. You have a lot of different options here. This is why you might wanna use your accountant. Uh, you'll notice that we have lots of different account types and you'll want to make sure that you don't have accounts that you don't need, but you do get the ones that you do need. So that's the end of this chapter in our, in our series here. We'll see you in the next one.